What's going on everyone? AD here. Welcome back to more Kinchi Iron Man. In the previous episode, we spent a lot of time down here in the south in the United Cities territory, uh, visiting all of these lost libraries, gathering uh, research books that we need to research uh, more in the tech tree. We also acquired some uh, decent uh, weapons and also lost our lives almost. Uh, so it was pretty pretty stressful being out there because it's pretty you got a lot of skin spiders and stuff roaming around. It's pretty dangerous, but as you can see, we traveled around and visited all of these locations. And we've got uh, ancient science books that we definitely need. We've got a ton of old treasure maps that we already know the locations of these uh, things so that we can just sell them for money. Uh, on Torquinator, we've got engineering research. So as you can see in the tech tree, uh, to, to research tech level 4, we need four ancient science books. We also need for heavy building foundations, which unlocks a lot of more heavy, uh, larger buildings. Um, uh, with the larger building shells as well, we need engineering research, which is what we have. So uh, going on these expeditions, visiting all of these different ruins and stuff is really important to advance further in your technology. And uh, that allows you to craft better weapons, armor, and uh, new buildings and so forth. So. I think what we're going to do in this episode is head back to our base in Moonshine up to the northwest, or uh, northeast rather, and uh, get uh, get Crazy Lizard working on researching these new things and also maybe start doing some hashish production. As you can see in the farming tree uh, for hashish production, we needed one engineering research, which is uh, why we went on this expedition to begin with. So hopefully we can start doing some smuggling soon and check out how that works. I'm really excited to, to see if we can make some money that way. Uh, just something a little bit different. So if you guys want to see more Kinchi Iron Man in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. And again, this is a series where whatever happens, happens. If you're just tuning into this series, what I mean by Iron Man is basically if people die, they die. We're not going to reload the game. Uh, that's just what happens. And so we have to be careful with our decisions, careful what we do, um, because... Every decision could be our last, so um, we've done really well so far. We've had a lot of close calls, but we are going to take more risks as we continue on. And, uh, you know, if we lose people, we're going to replace people. And uh, that's just how it goes. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do right now is just sell everything that we don't need. We've acquired a lot of stuff that uh, we don't need anymore, like weapons and these military documents and stuff. So we're going to run around, sell all this loot, and then we're going to head out and head back northeast and see what other trouble we get into. Alright, I went around and sold pretty much everything that we have. We still have some robotics components left over. Um, generator core, which sells for a lot, and the CPU unit sells for uh, 4800 So we, we can make about another 20 k off of the stuff that we have. Um... Mr. Or Yeflin also has a skeleton eye, which we'll just give that to Torquinator to hold on to. Um, but yeah, we're up to 70,000 now, which is great. So we'll be able to get Torquinator a, a, a replacement limb. And I'm also thinking of... I'm just going to give Torquinator this uh, Masterwork grade uh, Samurai leg plates since uh, Torquinator is always wearing the large backpack and it gives him a negative 10% uh, 10 bonus to combat so we'll just give him heavier armor that way you can kind of withstand those attacks and uh, let's see drifters leather pants I think we'll give those to Darth protect his legs a little bit since hivers need to protect their legs at all times And uh, we have tons of uh, animal skins. I'm holding on to these because when we get back to base, we're going to need those for crafting. So I just want to stock up on those as much as possible right now. Uh, if we sold those, we would put ourselves way over 100k. <laughs> Looks like uh, these guys just gathered uh, some band of bone slaves. Wow. <laughs> nice. You belong to me now, boy, he says. Wow, alright, cool. Well, luckily we, we dodged that, uh... We dodged getting ourselves enslaved in the last episode. We've got a long journey ahead of us. we got to head northeast. 
But um, we might stop by the way station and sell some more of this stuff. And just kind of clean up our inventory a bit, but let's uh, let's head out and see what trouble we get into along the way. Looks like our first victims in this adventure is going to be outlaw farmers coming right for us. We'd be happy to oblige them. Attack all. Oh, good hits. Now that we gave everybody a, a better weapon, we're doing a lot more damage, thankfully. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I'm on block? What the hell? I don't know what the hell I'm doing on block. Oh, 70 damage. Look at the spore and saber. This thing looks so sweet. <laughs> it's like bigger than him. <laughs> Don't let him get away. There you go. Let's see, these guys have... Um, Crazy Lizard could use some toothpicks, I think. Ah, getting caught stealing. Alright, whatever. Yeah, we need those toothpicks so he can shoot. Alright, carry on, gentlemen. We didn't take much damage at all. This will stop by the bar real quick at the way station and sell... Oh, wait. Yeah, we can get some arrows, too. I want to get Twerkinator. Uh, let's see, this is a Masterwork Old Bow. Yeah, this takes regulars. So we're gonna give Twerkinator... Perfect. Let's buy some regulars. There we go. Buy a bunch of those. That way Twerkinator can actually fire. Uh, and do some... Uh, do some crossbow work. And I guess I'll get rid of the Spring Bat. And uh, let's get rid of the CPU unit and also the robotics stuff. Free up some more inventory space there. There we go. We're up to 79k now. And it doesn't look like they have toothpicks to buy. That's alright. Well, look what we just stumbled upon. We've got two uh, Empire Peasants. This guy has a $2,000 bounty, and this other person does as well. So, uh, yeah. Let's take them out. Yeah, we're gonna take their bounty and, and turn them in. There you go. Alright, let's uh, heal them up. Do a little first aid action. So they don't die, and then we'll turn them in, because we're actually on our way. We're close to Clown Steady anyway, so... That'll be perfect. Alright, Mr. Killer, pick him up. Perfect. Okay. We'll make 4,000 along the way. We just found two guys with bounties. We'll just, uh, Mr. Killer and I will head into the police headquarters here, turn in our bounty guys. Take them. $2,000 reward. That was the easiest bounty we ever, uh, turned in, I think. Let's wait for him to put that guy away. Kind of want to see if he has any other bounties to buy from. Let me talk to him again. Uh, bounty hunter looking for work. No leads, unfortunately. Uh, now, one thing you can do is buy confiscated goods from them. Wanted Gorillo. Inhumanly large, slow of mind, also known as the Boulder. Wanted for robbery, assault, and destruction of property, namely within the lost town of Morn. 
Thought to be hiding out somewhere in the Forbidden Zone with his followers, the Grillo Bandits. Wow, dude. I, I want to find these guys. Let's see. I think I have Velamon. We have White Eyebrow, I think. Gutterhead. Who is that? Uh, leader of the Scavengers wanted for numerous attacks and robberies on the roads to Avenge. Located south of the desert beyond the eye. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Big Bo, I think we have him. Savant the Skin Eater. What? Responsible for the disappearance of hundreds of humans in the Forbidden Zone south of the Great Desert. Victims have been found savagely mutilated, most notably the bodies completely skinned and hacked off of all outer flesh. Details of the mutilator are still largely unknown. Target is considerably highly dangerous. Oh, man. I want to find this guy. Savant the Skin Eater. Wow. There's so many bounties, man. They're adding so many new bounties. Like, those two I haven't found before. Uh, I think I've seen the Gorilla one. But uh, I haven't seen the, the other one. Uh, Savant the Skin Eater and Gutterhead. These two, I haven't seen them yet. So they are slowly adding more and more stuff to do in this game. As they uh, near the 1.0 release. Alright. Let's continue on uh, northeast. We'll probably get into... Uh, some battles along the way, I'm sure. For some reason, I forgot Crazy Lizard. He was way back. <laughs> I don't know, he was standing around outside of Clown Steady, but uh, our other group got attacked by... Uh, is getting attacked by Swamp Ninjas, so... This is kind of the... Uh, kind of surprised us over here. Oh, I'm down already. Wow. Damn it, Crazy. <laughs> Get down here, man. I think we're getting our asses beat. Oh, we took a couple down so far. Oh, yeah, Mr. Wolf. I'm liking those new moves. Man, I go down <laughs> more than anybody, I think. Me and Darth. <laughs> and it's not even our, to our head. It's always to our chest. And we have the best chest protection we can get for kind of like... Like, the, for the Hiver, I would say. And we're always getting down from the chest damage, not the not the head damage, which you'd think would be why. Wow, look at all these Swamp Turtles. Alright, everybody heal up. We might take down a few of these Turtles while we're at it. Medic up, everyone. And uh, let's have Torquinator run around, grab th all these weapons. Of course, we can sell them. I'm not going to take their uh, faction uniform. It doesn't actually give you any stealth bonus or anything like that, so not really... It's pretty much junk. It has no protection. It's all cloth. The reason the Swap Ninjas are so good is just because they have really high stats and skills. So, uh... They don't really need protection. <laughs> but it didn't really do them much good. Ah, the turtles are getting away. Let's take out a few turtles, just kind of stock up on food while we're here. These turtles are, are really easy. We can just take them all out. Look at this. <laughs> These are like the best things to fight, honestly. We're taking them all down. <laughs> we just annihilated an entire family of turtles. Oh boy. Alright, come here, Darth. Take all the food. Alright, good job. Uh, maybe we'll get Yeflin. Let's have Yeflin grab some food too. We'll just have so much food that we won't run out for any anytime soon. Wow, you can really make, uh, I mean, find a lot of food out here just by killing all these turtles. Look at this. Damn. We are stocked up. We've encountered more Swamp Ninjas coming at us. Oh, boy. Yefflin. Hurry up, my friend. Get out of the water. Alright, attack all. Let's see, Torquinator, are you shooting with uh, your ranged? 
Why isn't Twerkinator using the crossbow? Oh, because he doesn't have an arm, that's why. Fair enough. We'll get Twerkinator a new arm. Oh, nice. Oh. So, as you can see, you know, the more you, uh... You can kind of see the progression as you, at before we weren't able to take these guys out at all. Now we're just able to crush them pretty good. I mean, they, they still put up a good fight. But they're definitely not um, enough to, to damage us too bad. I mean, where we're kind of like knocked out and we have to rest every time we fight these guys. We're able to take them on um, more frequently. As you can see, yeah, like, some people didn't even get damaged. Um, so we're getting damaged, like, halfway now. Um, and before, we were getting knocked out every time we'd fight these these guys. Same with uh, the Red Sabers. So you can just kind of see the, the progression a little bit as we strengthen up. Everybody gets better at combat skills. And Crazy just got his... Uh, thievery up to 16 just by trying to take the loot from them. We're going to have a ton of weapons to sell. Twerkinator. Uh, and you can also uh, build something that dismantles swords and stuff. So you can you can actually smelt them and and use the, uh, the iron if you want. Hold on a second. I think it just took off. Oh. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I think I think we got enough weapons now. Amistein took a hit. Uh, no, he didn't. Oh, I thought he was down. Never mind. All right, continue on, guys. Uh, let's see. Where are we? We're close to an outpost, the Swamp Ninja's outpost, right now. We still got a long way to go. We're sneaking up on some red sabers over here. I wonder if I could... Yeah, I, I should be... What's my stealth at? Why is it 7? Oh, my robotics. Oh, my injuries are negative 72. Wow. Okay, I'm never going to be able to sneak up on them then. Oh, I get negative stealth for all my... Ugh. Alright. Let's just, let's just run up and kill them. Who are they fighting now? Oh, blood spiders. Yeah, let them, let the blood spiders wound him. Alright, let's do it. They're already wounded, so I think, I think we can take them. Oh, nice hit. Torquinator. Oh, good job. Crazy from behind, pegging this dude. I think he just hit Yeflin in the back. Well done. There's actually a ruin over here in the northwest uh, in the swamps that we discovered uh, by going to all those lost libraries in the last episode. So I think we'll just kind of take a little detour and check that out while we're heading back to our moonshine outpost. I'm seeing all kinds of blood spiders around here. All right, let's just see if we can take them down quickly. I don't think they're going to be a match for us anymore. Um, as long as we can land our hits on them. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Nicely done. Oh. Who was that that was shooting him? Is that crazy over there shooting that spider? I don't know. We better take their teeth, though. Alright, I don't think we can land any hits with that thing down there. Alright, come on, guys. Get out of the water, because... It's not a good spot to be in. Alright, Apple, get out of there. Yeah, 
let's loot these guys. Yeah, we're slowly getting more and more wounded, but as long as... Uh, hopefully they don't just keep coming. Alright, we gotta get to Mr. Wolf over here. So many of them. Yeah, let's heal Mr. Wolf, pick him up, get out of here. Okay, uh, we're in a dangerous spot now that we're all getting wounded here. Okay, let's try to make it into this ruin, if possible. Hopefully there's not a lot of blood spiders in here. Or anything really nasty. Alright, let's just send a scout in. Uh, let's send in Apple. Or, maybe not Apple. Uh, let's see, who's not wounded in the leg? Uh, Lady Sharky. What's it like down here? Wow, a guardless katana. Ooh. Wow, 115. That's a lot better than what she was using. Alright, let's trade with Torquinator. And Lady Sharky's just got an upgrade. Nicely done. She'll be happy about that. Uh, let's see. Skeleton repair kit. Another skeleton repair kit. Uh, a book. Let's see. What else do we have up here? Doesn't look like there's anything up here in this area. Okay. Well, we got a decent guardless katana just by going in there. Sweet. Uh, we might actually have to rest a little bit. I should have bought some more sleeping bags at that way station. I totally forgot about it. Um, we're not too far away from our base, but yeah, I think we'll probably just... Go inside here, and uh, maybe we'll go. We'll go to the top floor, just kind of rest up. All right, guys, we're done resting here in this ruins, and I think it's time to head out. Uh, the game just came out with another update while I was in the middle of recording this episode, uh, so we're back to day one again. Uh, I just waited a little bit until the blood spiders ran away. Um, as you can see, a lot of the loot is uh, respawned here. Um, maybe we'll grab that on the way out. It's kind of a, a cheap way to get extra money if you need it, but, uh, since we're here, we might as well not let this stuff go to waste. Uh, let's just get, I guess, Darth over here to grab this stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll get a skeleton repair kit, and I guess we'll grab that book. Alright, that's it. I'm not gonna grab anything else. Okay, let's try to get out of the swamps here, and uh, we're gonna head back to our base. We're not too far away. Um, just gotta go northeast, and then hopefully we can get some research going. I'm really excited to see what other things we can uh, build. And we have finally made it back to our base of moonshine. <laughs> Thank goodness. And we're greeted by two big things out front, but let's just try to sneak by them and get inside, if possible. Um, it, yeah, it looks like our, our base is still intact. Doesn't look like there's any, uh, anybody hanging out, so that'll be good. We'll get inside, and we'll start doing some farming, because it looks like our, uh, riceweed farm is ready to harvest. It's got 13 hours left. So let's get inside, close the gates. We got a lot of work to do. All right. Awesome. All right, let's get, uh, let's see. Was it Night Fury that was our, yeah, Night Fury and I think Lady Sharky was our farmer. Yeah. All right, so let's get both of them working again. I'm going to put them on all of these farms. And uh, we're also going to have them haul to all of these. Uh, yeah. Have them haul to all of these spots. Let's see, that's cactus, hemp, perfect. 
And we have... Uh, oh, that's a food store. We're building those. Uh, here's a wheat straw. We gotta get that built. Okay. Alright, so let's get them working. Hopefully they, get, they can get the rice weed farm in time. Let's put them to work. Night Fury actually has some uh, some skins. Let's have him go over here real quick. Drop all the skins in. There you go. And we can send him back over there. How much rice weed do we have? We have 30... Oh, we got a lot, actually. Good. We're going to be able to uh, start making some food and everything else. Looks like everybody uh, went to bed, too. We need more fabrics. Hopefully a trader comes by at some point. Probably gonna store some stuff in the weapon cabinet. Let me find Twerkinator. We also gotta get Twerkinator and Arm. Look at all these weapons. I don't know if I wanna... I'm gonna sell all those for sure. Where's the... Uh, is this the armor storage? Yeah. Alright, let's drop all this stuff in the armor storage for now. And I got a leg. We'll probably need a uh, robotic limb storage at some point. This is just kind of like the catch-all storage for right now. Yeah, I need to get a trader's backpack for Torquinator, but I uh, just haven't been able to find one yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get one eventually. All of this stuff I want to sell, though. Uh, we should be able to get Torquinator a really good replacement. So, Torquinator is going to be going up to the way station uh, here soon. Let's just take a look at what everybody else has on them. Right, I got a ton of research books, so let me drop all of this stuff into... Actually, hold on a second. We need to upgrade this. Uh, yeah, let me... Let's go ahead and upgrade the uh, the bench, first of all. Let's see, we're also going to need some defense, so let's put, uh... Let's see, Crazy's going to be doing research soon. I guess we'll just put Mr. Killer over here on the turret. And, uh, we'll put Mr. Wolf over here as well. Just get them on the turrets, just in case anybody comes by. We got two, uh, two guards. Okay, Torquinator has finished the research bench. And is also building a bed. Nice. Okay, let's get uh, let's get my character in here. I'm just gonna drop all of these research books in. So uh, we got a lot of stuff to do here. We got tons of books, so we'll be able to research a lot of stuff. Crazy Lizard is gonna be busy for uh, a while. All right, let's see. I think Darth has a couple. Let's get him up here. I know Apple has some too. And we'll probably get Darth cooking some food, too. Put some food in the campfire. There we go. Nice. Alright, apple. Tons of books. Wow. And we got a nice pole armor. I forgot about that. We got a uh, Naginata. Which is uh, not bad, actually. It's got pretty decent cutting damage. Probably store that in, in the weapons cabinet for now. Not gonna, uh, pole arms are pretty good against uh, wildlife and animals and stuff, but they're not as good against like uh, human opponents. Oh, wow. Yeflin has a ton of meat as well. And Mr. Killer does, too. Okay, Torquinator needs to put his uh, books up here. We've got a lot of engineering uh, artifacts. Yeah, engineering research, those are great. Uh, let's see, I think that's pretty much everything. Let's see, Night Fury didn't have anything or Crazy Lizard, so that's pretty much all we got. Okay, nice, okay. We'll let Torquinator uh, do the engineering stuff. And let's bring Crazy Lizard up here now. Assign him a new job. And let's uh, put him to work. 
Let's see, I think we're probably going to go with tech level 4 to begin with. And upgrade that. And then we're going to go with hashish production, so we can start working on hashish. And uh, let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, rain collector. That's new. Uh, placing these on roofs of buildings can collect the rainwater in areas where wells can't be used. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Um, let's see. Hats and headgear. Yeah, we're going to be doing some crafting pretty soon. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Okay. Nice. And we still have two engineering research if we need it. Uh, but that is literally a ton of stuff. That's going to keep him busy for like three days. So crazy, just get to work, man. Uh, let's see, he's... Science is at 41, so... And he gets a uh, an XP bonus. So, alright. That's awesome. We've got Lady Sharky and Night Fury just doing their thing, gathering all the cactus and stuff. We're up to... We have tons of rice weed. Okay, I think we can probably do some cooking if we want. Oh, there we go. We got the wheat straw being taken. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to upgrade these farms here at some point. Let's see. We already have a large cactus farm, but we'll need to upgrade the wheat farm fairly soon. Actually, I think we can upgrade that once to a medium. I don't think we can... Uh, oh, yeah, we can upgrade the hemp one as well. All right, so let's upgrade that, too. And the cool thing is if you already already uh, if you already if you have hemp in there, in the farm, uh, it will automatically have its resources, so it'll just kind of upgrade itself, which is pretty nice. And I think we can upgrade it one more time. Let's get Apple over here and start cooking us some food. I think what we're going to do is probably... I guess we'll go with... Uh, chew sticks. They take cactus, water, and... Cactus and water, that's it. Yeah, and then we'll repeat the queue. So let's just have Apple work on the uh, chew sticks. Because uh, we have plenty of cactus. I think we have quite a bit. Oh, yeah. For some reason, they just get stuck trying to uh, deposit the stuff in the barrels, but hopefully Apple will be able to grab it and run back. Yeah, there you go. And in the meantime, I'm going to start uh, with my character. I'm going to go over here and start working on uh, doing some illegal stuff. Let's see, hashish production is literally in four hours. Alright. In the meantime, I can make some sake. So, let me get to work on that. Uh, we need weed straw for grog, but I'll do sake for now. Until we uh, research some more things, I'll, we'll be able to build more stuff too. And I think what we'll do is send Twerkinator. Uh, I think Twerkinator's got all the stuff to sell. And we'll send Torquinator up to the way station. Hopefully, can get there in one piece and get uh, get him a replacement arm too. Torquinator's being ambushed by a red saber coming down the uh, the swamps here. I don't see any other buddies though. He's just by himself. All right, Torque. See if you can do it, man. You're in full samurai gear. I think you can do this one-handed. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, hmm. He's going to need some help. Uh... Yep. <laughs> okay, he's going to need some help. Damn it, I was hoping we could get... Ah, we were so close to the way station. I was hoping we could get there. Alright, I'm going to need uh, Mr. Wolf and... Let's see, Darth, me, Mr. Killer. We'll take... Uh, we'll leave everybody else. I, don't, I think that's enough. Got to defend the outposts as well. 
Alright, Twerkinator's just gonna have to hang on over there. Alright, go block mode, Twerkinator. Just go block. We're coming. Alright. Let's go, guys. Full speed. He's just blocking. It's all he... I mean... It's all he can do right now. We're coming. Ah, Twerkinator's down. Damn it. And there is a lot of them. Wow. All right, what did Torquinator lose? Anything? Uh, it doesn't look like they took anything except maybe his shirt. I don't know if they if he had a shirt or not. Wow. Alright, we got to him. Hopefully they come back, we'll uh beat their ass. Oh, there they are right there. Yeah, I think we can take them. Where's Mr. Wolf at? Let's take these guys down. Let's avenge Twerkinator. Hold on, Darth. Take off your backpack. There you go. Damn, we're taking a beating here. Oh, one of them's down. Nice. Wow, 64 damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, Mr. Wolf. Oh, double tap. <laughs> Put him to sleep. Look at that. <laughs> Say good night. A broken hiver is a bad hiver. <laughs> Words of the wise from Darth. And should we sell this stuff? I guess we should take their... We'll take their stuff and sell it. Make some more money. Because uh, we're going to be spending money here. We're going to be buying a lot of stuff fairly soon. Probably for Black Desert City if we see it. We got ourselves about 83,000 right now. It's pretty good. We've made it to the way station in one piece, thankfully. Alright, let's have uh, Torquinator go and sell everything. And uh, we'll get him, uh, get him a replacement limb as well. What the hell? Oh, wait, you got Dust Bandits attacking. What the hell is this? Oh my goodness. Wow! Holy hell! We got a battle going on indoors and outdoors. Oh my goodness! I have I haven't seen this before. Wow. Uh oh, Torquinator's down. That was crazy. These guys are out for blood. Okay, well, we're up to 89,000. Not bad. Okay, let's get Torquinator a new arm. Let's see what this guy has over here. Skeleton Doctor. Uh, hold on a second. He needs a left arm. Okay. Finally, a left arm for Torquinator. He suffered without an arm for so long. Alright, we've got a skeleton arm left. High grade. It's not bad. Let's see... Skeleton arm. Uh, that's an economy. Oh, they got scout legs. Oh, wow. Let's see. We might get a couple legs for everybody here. These scout legs could be nice. Let's see. Athletics plus 31%. Alright, first of all, let's get a uh, skeleton arm left. That'll definitely be really good for uh, Twerkinator. High grade. Oh, I took off his lit leg. Whoops, my bad. Oh, uh, damn it. Hold on. Oh, wait, he needs a... What leg... What limb is that? Right? Yeah, he needs a right leg. Let me give him a scout leg right. We'll buy that as well. We'll get Twerkinator uh, a better leg. 
That way he can actually run faster, too. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Look at that. And that's part of the new update is now that, uh, now if you have a robotic limb, just one limb, it will only show armor over one leg. So one boot over one foot. Instead of, uh, having armor on both feet even though you have a skeleton replacement. That's pretty cool. Uh, good on you guys, devs. <laughs> really making things, uh, aesthetically pleasing. Alright, cool. Um... I guess we'll probably... Uh, do we want to hold on to the economy legs? We'll probably hold on to it and just keep them in case we need them. But uh, let's see, who else needs uh, better limbs? You got... What am I using? Left arm. I need a better left arm. Steady arm left. That's not very good. Well, it's actually it's better than what I have. This is this is actually really bad. Steady arm left is is not bad at all. All right, I'll take that. I'll take the steady arm left. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the look of that one. It's only got 90 in hit points though, so it's definitely not one of the best ones that you can get. But it's it's uh, better than what I had because this thing is junk. Negative 16 to crossbows, negative 60 to thievery and all that. Wow, and negative 22% to dexterity, so that's that's even worse. This one's only negative 33% to swimming. So a lot better. We'll keep we'll keep it though in case we need that need it. Let's see, we have 58,000. I think actually we could buy a couple more limbs. Let's see, uh, Darth needs Let's see. Oh, he's got a right a good le right leg already. Uh, Apple needs a better left arm. So let's see if we can get Apple a better one. And maybe I should get that scout leg left. Yep, we'll give it to Crazy Lizard. We'll give him the scout leg. Okay. Nice. Alright, I think that's enough. We've, we're down to 26,000. So we've spent some money that we've made. And uh, we'll be able to get some people some better robotic replacements. Um, we'll take a we'll take a look at that stuff back at base. We could even sell some skeleton repair kits if we need to, but for the most part, I think we're good to go. Um, I just want to buy a couple med kits so that we have them. I'm gonna buy a couple sleeping bags. And I'll probably get another trader's backpack. Those things are pretty good. Buy like three more sleeping bags because we seem to seem to run out of them pretty often. And we also need bolts. Uh, let's see, Torquinator has regulars. So now he'll be able to use that. Alright, let's head back to uh, Moonshine. We're getting attacked over here by dust bandits, unfortunately. We ran right into them. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see, what's the damage like? Mr. Wolf is already damaged. Darth is taking a hit. Alright, everybody just attack all. Let's see if we can do this. Hold on, Darth. Take off your backpack. I'm gonna need you in this battle. All right, hang in there. Hang in there, guys. Oh, nice hit. Wow, I'm doing 71 damage. I think, uh, personally, the saber is my favorite weapon. Oh, did I just see somebody's arm go flying? Uh, maybe not. I thought I saw a limb going, but I guess not. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, his arm is hurting. Oh, got blood spiders now. There you go. Oh, oh, Twerkinator's still on block. My bad. Oh, nice. Nice. 
I'll do what I can, he says. We made it back to Moonshine. Let's close the gates and let's distribute out these limbs that we got. I think everybody will be happy about that. Oh, I guess maybe she didn't have a, uh, or we didn't have an arm. Thought I bought a left arm. Oh, but I, I gave it to myself. That's what I did. Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna have to get her an arm. Alright. Well, we'll give Apple, uh, back her arm. And we'll get her a new one. <laughs> She's been through a lot. Lady Sharky needs a right leg. We were gonna give her the, uh, skeleton leg right. So we'll have her put that on. There we go. It's a better rep uh, replacement. We're gonna give uh, Night Fury a right arm, I believe. And we're also gonna give Crazy Lizard a uh, athletic leg here. Oh, he needs a uh, a left arm as well. Oh man, there's so many, uh, so many replacements. But that'll that'll help him out at least traveling. Wow, that looks cool. Oh, he's probably a lot faster now, too. With that. How much faster is he? Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Look at him go, man. Uh, let's see, what's his speed? Run speed is 34. Holy... Wow, that is amazing. You give him two scout legs, and uh, your, your guy is running over 40 miles an hour. Or maybe not 40 miles an hour, but 40 run speed. That's that's amazing. You could really create a uh, an assassin like that. The only th the the only problem with the scout leg is it only has 130 on the uh, the damage, so it's it's not as strong as some of the other ones. Like you can see, this one here has 150 uh, the leg that I'm using right now. I think you can get even better ones, too, that have, like, up over 200 uh, hit points. Well, one thing I'm going to place down is an item furnace. This thing allows you to uh, get rid of limbs that are lying around and also uh, melt down weapons and armor and stuff. So this is good to have. Uh, here it is. Hemp processor. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Why does it yeah, I guess it should say hashish processor instead of hemp, but I guess it takes hemp to make it. Um, Alright, anyway, we're going to put that in here. Oh, I guess we have to put it outside. That's weird. I have no valid usage nodes trying to place this hemp processor in this building, but I can place, like, the grog machine or anything else. It just doesn't let me place it here on this floor. However, I can place it upstairs. I just, I don't get that at all. Must be some sort of bug, but uh, I guess I'll put it like right here. Um, we need to make copper alloy plates somehow, and I don't think we have that researched yet. Alright, I'm gonna run back to the way station and grab some copper alloy plates really fast. I've bought myself one copper alloy plate. They don't have any more, so I'm gonna have to wait until they stock up on them. I don't think they have them in the bar, though. Yeah, uh, alright. So, my character's just gonna stay up here and just hang out until uh, I can buy some more copper alloy plates. Back here at base, I've got Apple uh, switching her production to uh, making rice bowls now because we have plenty of rice weed. So, she's gonna go through rice weed like crazy. But, uh, yeah, we'll get her cooking up. I just realized that I could have used all of this raw meat and made, um, meat wraps, um, but, yeah, it looks like, oh, she did make a few chew sticks, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we gotta get her skill up in cooking, though, her, her skill in cooking is pretty low, it's only five, so it's definitely gonna take a while. The good thing is that the rice weed farm grows so fast that, um, we have tons of rice weed, we've got, um, about 150 right now. Uh, which is great. And we have plenty of hemp to get started on the uh, hashish production. So we'll get, uh, we'll keep Apple running out uh, 
trying to make food here for everyone. And uh, get her skill up along the way. You can see how fast she goes through the rice weed. It's insane. But uh, yeah, that'll keep her busy. It's kind of unfortunate that she's got to run a long way to get to the storage. However, the one thing the one thing I look at it is that she's getting her athletic skill up every time she runs back and forth to get a piece of uh, to get the materials she needs, like the rice weed. So uh, eventually, she'll get her athletics over 90, which will be great. So everything is skill progression. Got to think of it that way. My character is going to be running over to Squin. I actually need to pick up a couple things. I need fabrics to build out the rest of our beds. And uh, I need to find some more copper alloy plates. So I'm just going to run over to Squin because the way station is taking forever to respawn uh, any new... Co or to buy any more loot. Uh, to restock them is what I'm saying. So yeah, if I go to Squin, I could probably pick this stuff up a lot faster. I made it over here to Squin. It's nighttime, um, but I think I might actually try to sneak in here and steal what I need. Let's see if I get caught. We'll see if there's like all kinds of like, <laughs> see if there's an animal party going on in here, like there was last time. The good thing is I don't have to take off my robotic limb um, to uh, to unlock anything anymore, which is great. I don't need a <laughs> I don't need a barrel of water. Ooh, fabrics! I need those for sure. I was gonna buy that. Uh, more fabrics. There's the copper alloy plates. Wow, kind of hit the jackpot here with all this stuff. Ooh, only a 91% chance to steal now. It's because I'm overloaded. So you gotta keep, you gotta keep an eye on your uh, your weight, your encumbrance, because that really uh, has a plays a part. Yeah, I, I'm, my encumbrance is terrible. Hopefully this guy doesn't see me. <laughs> ah, there's all the copper alloy plates. Alright, how many did I need? I don't remember. I think I only needed... Uh, like five. Four or five. I don't think I needed too many. Alright, I think we're good. Let's not overstay our welcome. We've got enough fabrics to uh, uh, build one more bed. Alright, that was successful. Uh, you, Bugman, bag check. Acceptable, go. <laughs> Alright, back to base. And we made it back to Moonshine. Avoiding all the big things out there. Wow, they're, they're everywhere. All right, good job. Okay, let's go ahead and build this thing. I'm so eager to get into the hashish production. All right, awesome, we got this done. Okay, so all we need is water, hemp, and uh, that makes hashish. So let's, let's make that happen. First of all, I gotta get rid of all of my stuff. Um, let me clear out my inventory. Good. All right, now I should be going around and uh, doing the hemp stuff. And we'll probably need... Let's see, how much rice weed do we have left? Oh, we still got quite a bit. Man, you guys gotta stop, stop that. Stop getting stuck. Uh, Darth isn't very good at... Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Let's have him work on the uh, sake still. Oh, wait a minute. We got tons of raw meat on him. Hold on a second. Apple. Uh, we're going to change your queue over here to uh, meat wraps. 
Yeah, let's start doing meat wraps. And uh, we'll give... We'll give her all the meat wraps from Darth. Actually, hold on a second. Does Apple have... Yeah, she's got a thief's backpack. Perfect. Actually, that might be way too much. Oh, wait a minute. You need bread. Okay, damn it. Alright, so just make dried meat then. Alright, so we've got... Uh, Darth over here making sake. I'm up here making... Uh, hashish. It's gonna take me forever. Uh, I wonder if you guys uh, have the same issue that I do, where they're getting, like, they're just having trouble putting stuff in the uh, storage containers. Well, we've been uh, making some grog, or not grog, uh, sake for a while, and also some hashish. And, let's see, we've got ourselves a little bit of a stock here, so we've got some, um, we've got five hashish, and also... Uh, in our barrels up here, we've got 10 sake, which sells for 428. Now, the hashish, it says it sells for 144, but um, I think that changes depending on where you smuggle it to. So, uh, we're going to have to test that out. But right now, we're going strong. We've got apple over here, uh, just cooking dried meat. We've got a lot of food getting stored here, lots of food. So that's that's fantastic. We're gonna have plenty of food to uh, do any more adventures in the future, and we also have uh, Crazy Lizard still going strong with all the research that he's doing. We've got a, a big queue here, uh, full of stuff that we gotta get, and there's even tons more things that we need um, to get tech level five. We need eight ancient science books, so we're gonna have to go adventuring again later on when we want to get further. Uh, further into the development. One thing that is new is it looks like you can upgrade makeshift walls now. Uh, and they upgrade to a defensive wall too. That is amazing. That is something new. You can also upgrade the makeshift gate. Oh my god. Thank you so much, devs. You guys are the best for uh, doing that. Because uh, that really annoyed me in the past where you had to like dismantle your entire base. Um... So now we can upgrade the walls, which we're going to do in the next episode. We'll get all our walls upgraded, start putting some t uh, turrets up, some defense, and uh, try to build out some more things in our base. Maybe get into some crafting and stuff. And we might actually just base a lot of this stuff out of here. Um, we'll probably build some other outposts and stuff along the way. But uh, this is a really good spot. I really like this. So we'll probably keep building it out, maybe expand it a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll do some more base development uh, in the next episode, and then maybe in the one after that we'll, we'll go back and do some more adventuring. I like to switch things up so that uh, you guys don't get bored, so you get to see pretty much, uh, you know, a lot of different aspects of Kenshi. So, um, we'll go out and do adventuring, and then other times we uh, do some base building and so forth. So, uh, try to keep it exciting and uh, entertaining. So, if you guys want to see more Kenshi in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Take care.